zippity doo -dah. Beautiful day. Great to be alive. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. Uh, today, I'm filming this video at Fort Wilderness Campground Resort here in Walt Disney World, and this is the Disney World that nobody knows about. Now, at this point, you've already gotten started. I'm sure you're so excited to get started with the tools to be able to adapt to today's new economy. Now we're going to be using all these new tools, mobile marketing, squeeze pages, landing pages, email, social media. We're going to be using all of these tools. However, the type of advertising is the type of advertising uh, your, your grandpa or maybe even your great grandpa was used to seeing when he was a kid. Take for instance this Bisquick ad from a 1934 issue of Cosmo Magazine. Now as you notice, it's an article, so they do provide a lot of information in order to educate their potential buyer and then they offer them a cookbook when they send in the mail-in coupon, which is the opt-in form down on the uh, on the very bottom of the ad. As, as you can see, it's it's got a red square around it, so you can really see it. Now, I do apologize; it is kind of small, but you can uh, look this up online, and you should be able to find it as well. But this is exactly what we do. The only difference is instead of mailing in a coupon, what we're doing is we're using the latest technology, tools to be able to adapt to today's new economy to be able to do this. So instead of having them mail in a coupon, we'll have them opt into a landing page, a squeeze page, or what I call as a smart website, or use mobile marketing, short codes, uh, things of that sort to generate the leads. So what we're doing here is no different than what was going on in, in, 19, in the 1900s, 10s, 20s, 30s, and 40s. The only difference is we're using updated technology to be able to do this. Now what about your already existing customers? Now we have different advertising campaigns already created for you for those of you who are, have already existing customers. Uh, maybe they haven't bought from you for a while. Maybe they're inactive. So we have different advertising campaigns to reactivate them. Um, also other act, uh, advertising campaigns to upsell those already existing customers. And that's really where we do suggest you that you do start. But how about getting those new customers? We created different advertising campaigns that will work no matter what type of business that you have. So we'll start you on some very, very, very basic advertising campaigns. Now what we're about to get started doing may seem a little odd to you. Uh, that is at least until you understand the psychology behind it. So if you want the same results that everyone else is getting, then go back to doing what everyone else is doing. Now in order to become more successful, you need to use what is called as out of the box thinking. Stop doing what everyone else is doing. So there's a reason why some people are successful and other people are not. So number one, the best way to start is to start offering contests or start generating leads by offering different types of contests. Now, as you've probably noticed, very big companies offer a lot of contests, don't they? Uh, you know, the big Fortune 500 companies, the big, very, very successful companies that we all know of. Uh, but when we look at it on a local level, very few small and medium-sized businesses use contests. Now, the reason that this is important is uh, when it, anytime when it comes down to making a major purchase, the average person starts looking at an item or starts doing the research for it anywhere from about 18 to 24 months ahead of time. However, most of your competition is only looking for those people who are looking and ready to buy. And so when we're looking for those people who are only ready to buy right now, we're leaving about 68% of the market. That's what the research shows untouched. So instead of just going after, instead of just marketing to those people who are just ready to buy and looking to buy, uh, what we want to do is we want to market to those people who are thinking about it. And running a contest is a great way to, to, uh, to capture those leads. Because obviously if they're registering for a contest for your products and services, obviously they're interested in them, right? Plus, if we expose them to the right information, we can shorten up that buying curve dramatically. Uh, take, for instance, I, one of my clients, he, he markets to people who are not even thinking about it. They don't even know why he's there half the time. Um, but anyway, he's, he sells about 90% of them, even though that they weren't thinking about it, they were not interested in it. But he did expose them to the right information, and he upsells them. He, out of his leads, he ex upsells about 90% of them. Now, offering contests also sets you apart from your competition. There's a thing in sales and marketing called as a USP. It stands for a unique selling proposition. What gets you to stand out and be different from any of your competitors? 
And so what we notice is when we look around at most industries, everybody's using the same type of advertising, the same type of message. Everybody looks the same, sounds the same, smells the same. And so what happens when it comes down to our marketing messages is people get, they become ignorable. Our, our advertising messages, they become numb to them. And so for people to be able to take notice of our advertising messages, we have to do something to really stand out and to get their attention. And again, this is what running contests will do for you. Now, as we progress through here, we'll get to, into some more advanced advertising campaigns of, uh, again, those people who are actually looking and actually ready to buy. But there's a, th there's a saying in, in the world of business that says that you can do the right thing at the wrong time. So going after those people who are ready and actually thinking about buying is the right thing to do. Uh, however, most businesses are doing it at the wrong time. So one of the things that we want to do is go after and capture a bigger marketplace. And again, that's what con running contests will do for you. Okay, now one last thing before we get going here today. Um, I don't want you to spend any money in advertising. I want to show you how to get so much business through word of mouth advertising that you're never going to have to be required to spend any money into advertising ever again. So if you look down below directly underneath this video, you'll find everything that we talked about here in today's video. So first of all, we're going to get started with our advertising campaigns. Um, we have beginners, we have intermediate, and we have advanced advertising campaigns. And so in the beginners advertising campaign, we're going to get, go ahead and get started by offering a contest to go ahead and generate some leads. And then from there, we can sell what you, the type of products and services that you do offer. Then again, if you also look down below directly underneath this video, we'll, uh, we have another segment, another section of where, where we'll show you how to get so much business through word of mouth advertising that you'll never have to be required to have to pay for advertising ever again. You know, a lot of businesses uh, uh, think about advertising is traffic and advertising is much more than just traffic. Uh, what we do here is we kind of focus on the message because traffic is actually free. There's really no reason for you to spend any money in traffic. Uh, I get over 10,000 visitors a day uh, to my blog and to my sites all from free traffic. So you don't actually have to spend any money into advertising. You can get it all for free. Now this method of word of mouth advertising that we're going to share with you, uh, the first time that we did it, we generated something like 141 sales in about six hours all completely free with word of mouth advertising. So um, again, just look down on the page below, get started with everything, don't procrastinate, go ahead and implement this, get started on all of this right away. And we're gonna suggest you to get started with the basic advertising campaign and that of, of setting up your contest. And we have this ad campaign already set up for you. There's just a, a few minor things that you might wanna go ahead and do with it. But uh, go ahead and check out the resources down below. Take care, everyone. Had a great day filming this video for you today. It was a lot of fun. But take care, everyone. Have a great day, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye now.